Farm to School program is about making connection. It's about showing children where their food comes from. It's about getting fresh vegetables onto their trays and making lifelong connections. But it is a whole new, potentially steady stream of funds coming to your farm. Farm to School benefits children, farmers, and the whole community. Farmers can participate in Farm to School in many ways. They can sell directly to schools, sell to classrooms for taste testings, and visit with students on the farm or in the classroom. Mississippi schools serve thousands of meals to students every day of the year. And this means that they are purchasing thousands of pounds of produce weekly. As a farmer, it is important to know that while it is possible for schools to buy local, it takes extra knowledge and effort to do so. Tapping through the Mississippi Farm to School Network for help negotiating with schools. Utilize the resources available to you. Be patient with the schools that you're about to work with. Let them know how important it is to get your product to the schools. Let them know that it's more than just about profit. Most Mississippi public schools operate the meals program under USDA. When schools purchase food for school meals, they have to bid for the lowest cost items. They do this not just because the USDA requires it, but also because they have tight budgets averaging just about a dollar for food cost per meal. Do not let cost deter you. There are many ways to navigate this system. That's something the Mississippi Farm School Network is here to help with. Often your product will be less expensive anyway. Here's a couple of tips for working with schools. Find the right person. The school representative who makes decisions about food purchasing is the school food service director. This is the person you need to identify as your school contact. Find out what matters most to the food service director. Is it food safety? How can you prove your product is safe? Is it cost? Find out how much they are currently paying for products and think outside the box about new items they could serve. Find out how deliveries are accepted at the school district. Are all products delivered to each site? When are those products delivered? Are the schools able to refrigerate what they receive? Find out how the school needs the product to be processed. Do they need it washed, chopped, and bagged? Do they need it whole? If processing becomes an issue, do you have a processing facility available to you in your area? Bring food. The mind is always swayed by the heart. Bring your best and talk about what goes into growing your product. If you're just getting into farm to school and want to start small, try connecting with teachers. Working with classrooms is a great opportunity to educate children on the importance of eating locally. Uh, eating locally gives children access to fresh fruits and vegetables, things that are at the peak of their flavor, and have a nutritional content that can't be found elsewhere. To sell to schools for classroom or cafeteria taste testing, first contact the school's food service director or principal. Ask if they know of any teachers or parents in the community interested in helping lead a taste test. Let them know what you have growing during the school year to help determine the best product to serve. One of the things that really resonates with school children is the taste of fresh locally grown vegetables. Many children don't realize that they like some vegetables like celery or strawberries until they taste these vegetables straight from a local farm. We're all aware that today's children are not connected to where their food comes from. It's important to make the connection for the health of future generations. It's also important for our small-scale local food economies. A great way to market your farm or products is to host students at your farm for a field trip or visit their classroom to put a face to their food. To set up a field trip or classroom visit, get in touch with a representative at your local school and present your ideas on how the students can learn about local food and connect with their community. So why do Farm to School? How can it benefit you? The Farm to School movement is small but growing. Local schools have incentive to purchase fresh fruits and vegetables from Mississippi growers. This provides a good economic incentive to our farmers and the possibility for them to increase their revenue. The average increase in participating in a Farm to School program nationally is 5%. Some farms make much more than that, and with careful planning, selling to schools can be a significant new source of income. You'll have a new audience, including students as well as their families, teachers, and administrators. Participating in Farm to School can also lead to development 
of new grower cooperatives and cooperatives which can supply larger institutional markets such as universities and hospitals. In short, get started in farm to school by meeting your local schools. Find the food service director for selling to cafeterias or find teachers for selling for taste testing in classrooms. Get to know them and bring samples. Think of farm to school as a source of additional income and a way to connect to your community. Consider students future customers and help them understand what goes into growing real food. Know that there are many resources available to you. Be in touch with your Mississippi Farm to School Network state leads, Dorothy Grady Scarborough and Sunny Young Baker, for ideas, practical help, and contacts. For more information, visit www.mississippifarmtoschool.org.